For many of us, we're waiting on God to tell us which decision to make when he's been waiting on us to make those same decisions. Some of us just need to go for it, but we get anxiety about it. Others of us, we're very fast-paced when it comes to decision-making. Ask yourself, are my decision-making habits healthy? Are my decision-making habits healthy? See, when it comes to decision-making, there's probably a wide range of personalities and uh, uh, ways that you guys make decisions. Uh, some of you get very anxious when it comes to making decisions. And as a result, some of you are very slow in making a decision. Uh, I know this because my wife is that person. It's okay, you can laugh. You guys are like, is she, is she laughing? By the way, anything I say about her, I filter through her because so, I'm wise. I know. So... Here, here's what we've been trying to do the last few months. Uh, we've been trying to buy a bed for our toddler who's, you know, kind of grown out of her crib and she needs a bed. And we've been trying to buy this bed for like three months now. And um, I've loaded up the shopping carts. I've shared the options. And it, the progress is not being made. I'm, I'm wise now, you know, we're in our seventh year of marriage, to know that I shouldn't just buy things without getting approval from her. And here's why I know that, because if I do, I'm going to end up doing a lot of returns later on. But we get anxious about decision-making. What if I don't like it later? What if I outgrow the color or the style or whatever it is, and we're, we get some anxiety around the decisions that we make? Like, what if it doesn't work out? There are others of us who make decisions way too fast, and I fall into this group more than the other group. You wake up, and you want to make decisions. You're fast-paced. You don't have time to waste on considerations. you got to be more efficient. More decisions need to be made so you can make more moves. And so you'll jump on the latest trend or movement because you have a hard time waiting and really valuing the process of discerning. This is also true when it comes to our spiritual lives. The way that we make decisions affects us spiritually as well. So for the first group that I said that they have a hard time making a decision, you guys have probably heard the story of the drowning man. Uh, and here's how the story goes. There's a flood that happens, and this man is drowning, and the water is all the way up to, up to his rooftop, and he's holding on to the rooftop, and he's praying to God, God, help me. And then someone comes in a rowboat and says, hey, get on the rowboat, and I'll save you. And he says, no, I'm good. I'm waiting on God to save me. And so the rowboat leaves, and you guys know the story. And then uh, someone comes in a motorboat and says, hey, get on the boat, and I'll save you. And he says, no, I'm believing that God is going to save me. He ignores that. And then a helicopter comes. And they lower the rope. And they say, grab onto this rope. You only have a few minutes left. And he says, no, God's going to do something better than this. I'm waiting on him. And what happens is that the man drowns and he dies. And then he goes to heaven. And then he asks God, God, I was waiting on you. I've been praying and you never gave me an answer. And God says, I gave you three answers. See, this is how many of us are when it comes to our spiritual life and when it comes to decision making and the habits that we have. For many of us, we're waiting on God to tell us which decision to make when he's been waiting on us to make those same decisions. Some of us just need to go for it, but we get anxiety about it. Others of us, we're very fast-paced when it comes to decision making. And we think we're wiser and more discerning than we actually are. And we see this all the time um, as pastors of a church. We see people come to church and they make decisions really quick. And I, I think this is a very typical of Christians. But we've had many folks, and there's nothing wrong with it. We had many folks come to our church and they say, uh, I love this church and I want to go here. This is my home church. God's calling us here. And we'll always say, hey, take some time to figure out if this is really the church that God has called you. There's some great churches in the area. Check out some other churches if you'd like, whatever it is. Take your time because you might hear a song today that you loved, but next week you might not like the song. Or you might hear a sermon that you like one day, and then in two weeks you hear a sermon that you don't like. So take your time. And then we've had people say, no, you don't understand. This is it. God's called me here. I want to go to the membership class. I want to be a member. And we've had numerous people a few weeks later say, I think God's calling us to another church. Again, there's nothing wrong with that, but a lot of times we rush in to decision-making because we think that we're discerning in, when in reality we just haven't taken the time to see what God is doing. And here's what the book of Proverbs says about those who make decisions too quickly. Proverbs 19, verse 2. Desire without knowledge is not good. How much more will hasty feet miss the way? So decision-making when it comes to being too fast might make you miss some things. But when it's too slow, some of us are just stuck waiting on God and we simply just need to make a decision. Some of us just get stuck at times. Some of us are waiting for God to come down 
and shake us and say, make this decision. I'll give you an example. Uh, it's about three and a half, four years ago uh, when the, uh, the uh, elders of this church approached me to see if I wanted to take the lead pastor position. And I immediately, uh, my initial response was no. I don't know if this is a church for me. But then Crystal and I, we entered into this process of praying and trying to discern where God was leading us. At no point in that process of discerning did God step down into the earth and put flesh on bone on again and tell me, Alan, this is the church. You need to do it. It wasn't that clear. I didn't get a phone call from God saying, okay, this is the move to make. But in that process, I discerned some things and I understood that I had surrendered my life to God and this is something that I knew that he may be calling me to and I knew that that's why maybe that God called me to San Antonio. There are all these things surrounding the context of my life at the time that allowed me to make that decision. But some of us are just waiting for too clear of an answer when God's saying, go for it. You see what's around you, go for it. So, I could keep talking about that first point. But ask yourself, are my decision-making habits healthy? 